Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel with the new lecture. Guys, today in this important video lecture, I am going to talk about often asked interview question and every civil engineering should be remembered these interview question which I am telling you in this video because these are very helpful for passing civil engineering interview and get a job easily. Let's start guys. If this video is helpful for you, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new. Let's start. As you can see guys, the first question is what is the unit weight of concrete here? But before this question, maybe they will ask from you, what's your name and where are you from or something other related with you or say something about yourself. And after that, they will start civil engineering related interview question, which I'm telling you in this video. But it doesn't mean that they will ask this question must. But maybe they will ask this question or some of these question they will ask from you because these are uh, most often asked question in interview. So here the first question is, what is the unit weight of concrete? Because in concrete we have PCC and the other one is RCC, both, okay? So guys, the answer is PCC is 200, 2400 kilonewton per meter cube and RCC is RCC is 2500 kilonewton per meter cube so this is the uh, unit weight of concrete okay so you can just answer PCC and RCC PCC is 2400 kilonewton per meter square and RCC is 2500 kilonewton per meter cube okay now the second question is also very important that is also the unit weight of steel what's the unit weight of steel which we are using in construction work so guys that is 78 the answer is 78.5 kilonewton per meter cube this is the density of steel this is the second answer of second question so you should not uh, extend your question or answer so just say 78.5 kilonewton per meter cube so it will be best for you to answer shortly so guys here the third question is what is the ratio of concrete for m10 m20 m25 m30 etc or maybe uh, more than these but guys for example if they ask from you what is the ratio of concrete for m10 okay they will ask one or two from you for example if they ask m10 or m20 or m25 so guys for m10 that is for m10 the answer is for m10 that is 136 one is cement three is sand six is crush or aggregate and here for M15 that is 1, 2, 4 and for M20 that is 1, 1.5 ratio 3 for M25 guys that is 1, 1, 2 sorry 1, 1.5 sorry 1, 1, 2 Okay, this is the M25 and M30 and more than M30, this is design mix. Okay, so you will design a concrete for other ratio, uh, especially in concrete. So guys, here the fourth question is, what is the formula to find weight of steel bar and kg per meter? So the unit weight of, uh, sorry, uh, the, the formula to find weight of steel, that is, d square divided by 162 remember guys here d square the d should be in millimeter for example 10 mm 12 mm etc okay or uh, 20 mm 18 mm 25 mm 30 mm anything okay but the d the d should be in millimeters which can give you the answer here n kg per meter that's the formula to find weight of steel bar okay now guys the fifth question is 
where to provide bent up bar and slab where to provide bent up bar so guys bent up bar are provide near at support in rcc slab and why we provide bent up bar so where we provide bent up bar the answer is near at support the answer is near at support so it is other question and why we provide it to resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum at the end of the end of the support so therefore we bend the bar near at support to resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum at the support guys here the sixth question is that is also very important and many civil engineering students are asking from me and this is often asked question in interview that is what is the minimum curing days for beam column and slab guys that is minimum curing days are seven seven days are minimum so minimum you should cure, uh, cure the concrete if there is beam column and slab but we should not uh, less than it should not be less than seven days it must be seven days because these are minimum days okay guys you the seventh question is what is the minimum and maximum space between two columns two rcc columns as you can see this is one column and this is second column so what should be the minimum and maximum distance between two rcc columns that's very important but guys the minimum distance is two meters and the maximum is 7.5 meters so it should not be more than 7.5 meters if you want to increase the distance between two rcc columns so it's depend on the size of the column if we increase the size of the column so the distance will be increased if the size of the column is less so we will also decrease its spacing so therefore spacing between two cars rcc columns are depend on the structure load and also it's depend on the size of structure for column okay and also it's depend on grade of concrete so remember these points minimum spacing should be not less than two meters maximum it should not be more than 7.5 meters but if you want to increase the spacing between two rcc columns so you will upgrade the amount of steel and also you will increase the size of the column and you should also design special concrete or use the uh, high grade of steel for rcc column now guys the eighth question is also important what is the value of slum test and concrete for rcc work that is slum test for rcc work is from 80 mm to 110 mm okay so this is the uh, slum test for uh, normal rcc work for normal rcc work which we are doing in constructions okay guys the ninth question is also very important all are important but some are often asked in interview that is how do you measure concrete how do you measure concrete so we measure concrete in cubic feet or in cubic meters and also in cubic yard so these are the measuring units for concrete now guys the tenth question is what is the average water cement ratio what is the average water cement ratio that is guys 0.45 to 0.6 percent this is the average water cement ratio for concrete okay the 11th question is also very important what is the minimum height of concrete fall minimum so the minimum height of concrete fall is what 1.5 meter so if you increase the height of concrete fall so it will make segregation so what is segregation i've already discussed in many videos so segregation is the separation of particles in concrete what are the particles in concrete cement sand aggregate and water so if you fall the concrete from the more than height of 1.5 1.5 meters so it will make problem so the problem is segregation and segregation is a danger for concrete it can weak the structure rcc structure 
Guys, the last question is what is the suitable angle of staircase? Where is the angle in staircase? As you can see, guys, this is diagram for staircase. As you can see, this is a cross section for that. So, what should be the angle here? What will be the theta here? So, that is between 25 to 40 degree. This is the suitable angle of staircase which you can use for staircase. Uh, for commercial building, for house, for hospital, for any building. So guys, these are some is, uh, important and useful often asked interview questions which I have discussed in front of you. If you have any question related with this topic, so you can comment, so I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.